Hey y'all, this is Tracy. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. I'm coming to you all today with a video sharing an app that I have discovered where you can fill out an application, like a job application, any type of application like that online, and be able to submit it back to the website that you are filling the application out for. And it's real easy without all the um, scanning, copying, filling out papers, then taking pictures and all that stuff that you would have to do. It saves a lot of that particular time. So with this, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate it to you as best I can. Hopefully that this thing goes through and goes through right. Okay. So with this particular, um, application, this particular company, they needed me to fill out a W-9 form. So what I'm going to do is go on here, get a W-9 form, going to download it to my phone all right and that way you guys can see exactly what it's doing this is the w9 form and we all know that this is a legit form okay if it, it's definitely from the irs all right so it's only one particular part of the one the first paper is the one that you have to fill out the rest of these is for you to keep and read over or keep for your records or whatever all right so what you want to do is go ahead and open this up and it'll tell you to open with. You want to click open with. Then just down here at the bottom, you see the first one says Adobe Fill and Sign. Click that. And what is going to happen is it's opening this form up into that app where you can go right ahead now and start filling out what it is that you need to fill out. First things first, right up here at the top right hand corner, you see the three little icon. You see like the little person icon. You see like the little ink pen icon. And you see like the greater than, less than sign. And uh, you see the little three dots, which I think that means help, okay, if you need Yep, help guide. So and if you're going through any troubles or anything, you, you hit that and then it'll be able to walk you right through it. But I'm going to try to do that as best I can here right now with this video. Okay, but this, we're going to get back to this little person icon. I want to click that so I can show you what that is. It's where you can build your profile up. You put your name, address, and city and state, birthday, and all that information in there. So it will make it easy, I think, to fill out the application for you to save you the footwork of doing it yourself. So that is that app. I mean, this that particular icon. The next one is that little ink pen. This is where you can um, you can create your signature. You can make your signature. It only stores the application only stores one signature and one initial. Some applications that give you uh, two or three, you know, storage signature storage spaces, but this one only gives you one. Most of them ones like that, you paying for it. So yeah, they, they got to do something, you know, to, I guess, you know, make you feel like you're doing something for those who paying for those type of applications. But you know, right now this one is free is you don't have to pay for it. So, Hey, you know, one signature is fine with me and one set of initials, but it'll give you uh, ample enough time for where you could perfect your signature the way you want it to be. The best thing I could say, use a stylus when, um, creating a signature. It gives you more of a better outlook. As you can see how this one looked. I think I did that. Well, I did that with my stylus, but the one with my finger was up. <laughs> so anyways, it allows you to do that. So what we're going to do is go ahead and try to, um, I'm going to show you how you could type into this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and type in my name. All right. Now, with these, you got a small A, big A, and a trash can. A small A, if you hit it, it allows you to make this uh, word small. The big A allows you to make it big. And if you don't want it at all, then you could delete it by using a trash can. So we're going to go ahead and just type that back in because we need that. That's my name. So I'm going to make that small. Bring it over here to the side, and we're going to go ahead and fill that in. Now, when you got to fill in boxes and all that kind of stuff, you want to go ahead and hold down so where you could get the little X or the check mark or whatever it is that you need to fill it out. Then with that, you can shrink it up to as big and small as you want it to fit in that box. Then it gives you this, um, this big bubble, magnifying bubble, where you can see exactly how you're putting it in that box so where you know you're putting it in there correctly. Okay, so down here at the bottom, it's asking for your address. So uh, I'm just going to get an address here that I already created. And I want to show you exactly what I'm doing. And you want to shrink it to where it's fitting in there nice and neat. You don't want to 
you know, the best you can. Now, this right here is where I had my, my biggest problems at, is messing around with these numbers. Now, I'm thinking that if I keep playing around with it, it gets better. But I don't know. So far, I done did this too many times, and it's still the same old thing. Okay, so, I, you know, I just don't know. I, I just don't know, guys. I really don't know what it's going to take. So, what I'm just going to do is keep messing around here with it. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put the numbers in like that. And going to put them, okay, this X right here, I could delete that. Okay, so that's one thing I can say about it is that, you know, it is dark to where it, you know, comes up in there just right. So I'm not going to keep messing, fooling around with that because I don't have time. Okay, so here we're going to move next to the date. But that is the biggest thing I could say that I had to, I really got to uh, get better at is applying them numbers inside them boxes like that. Okay, now here this part is where you need the initial. So you would hit this, hit the initial key. Use the um, arrows right there. So you want to use that left arrow to make it small. Use the right arrow to make it big. So I'm just going to shrink it on down where it can fit on that line. Nice and perfect. Like that. So with this application, it's all filled out and it's all done. This is it. All right. Oh, I deleted the date. I got to put it back. Mm -hmm. All right. So that is all. Did I delete it again? okay okay so now that is it so after you have completed the application now you want to go up here to your greater than less than sign that's the sharing it's going to save it to your phone and then allow you to see form is saved then it's going to go right here and ask you okay so where do you want to share it at i'm going to hit my drive and then that's when it's going to go straight to the drive all right and then what i'm able to do now is upload it to the app to the website that i needed to upload it to so i'm going to go back out of here go back to that website okay so i'm going to go back to that website and right down here at the bottom where it says choose file then you want to hit that all right and i'm not going to do that then you want to hit documents and then you will go right on ahead i wasn't going to do it but i can go ahead and just show you Okay, and right here where it says the form, the one that you just did, is $7.59. So the one I just did is right here, right here, the second one. So you want to hit that, and then it will put it there for you. And you will go over here, and you will hit Upload New, and it will send it directly to that site. And, yeah, that's really it. So I hope that this was helpful. That is really it, guys. This is just that simple and just that quick. Okay, but yeah, that was it. So I hope that you found this video to be helpful. And yeah, it thumbs it up and share it with your friends. Hey, if you haven't subscribed and you like what you saw, go ahead and click that, that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. So that way you'll be notified when I upload videos in the near future. And yeah, I want to thank y'all so very much for watching. If you have any comments or questions about anything, post them in the comment section of this video and I'll get back with you. But hey, y'all, until the next video, I want to wish y'all a blessed day. So I'll talk with you guys later. Bye.